Hello all everyone, right. I am Jesse, or Game Over Jesse as all of you may know me here with us is Ilya, Chiblima, and Daniel, and we have some rumors and predictions for some surprise announcements for the Game Awards presented by Jeff Keighley and the kind of funny showcase happening the next day which almost no one is talking about because they don't really know what it is because it's replacing the PlayStation conference uh, because usually PlayStation has the PSX the day after the Game Awards but PlayStation is pulling out of E3 they canceled their own PSX conference they are canceling their appearances at almost every other conference next year as well um, presumably to gear up towards the announcement of the PlayStation 5 because, again, presumably, all of the games they would have to announce or show off that they're working on would be games that they would be showing off for the PlayStation 5. And since they don't want to reveal PlayStation 5 games until they reveal the PlayStation 5, they can't really show anything because everything that's in development is not in development for the PlayStation 4. They do have a few games coming out, but it's not nearly as many as they would typically have. So anyways, at the Game Awards, uh, they have announced on their Twitter, which is where they're posting almost all of their updates on their Twitter and on their YouTube channel. I think their YouTube channel is called Game Slice, uh, but almost everyone's going to be restreaming it, so you will have no trouble finding the Game Awards. <laughs> but they have announced that they have more surprise announcements this year than any other year and they have bigger announcements than they have any other year which is kind of crazy because last year they had the reveal of breath of the wild dlc which was huge like it literally won game of the year and they had dlc shown off for the game of the year i don't think it could really get much bigger than that Yes. We got a super chat. <gasps> no way. Read it off, please. Linkage 187 Whoa. says, You guys are awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. For real. If you got a question. Yeah, give give us your, your question. Give it to us. Yeah. And we'll talk about what <laughs> you said. Thank you so much. Wow, that's a nine nine ninety nine. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Again, yes. So with the Game Awards, they're they're going to have like 20 to 30 announcements, I imagine, because it seemed like they had over 20 announcements last year. Because it was literally every five minutes they were like, here's a new game. <laughs> <laughs> so if they have even more this year, I, I don't know how they're going to fit it all in there. And then the next day, kind of funny, um, who... For those who don't know, I've gotten the Game Over Jesse name from, with his blessing, Game Over Greggy. Uh, he kind of had like a weird freak out. I, I don't know if it was a freak out. He kind of had one when he found out that they were pulling out of E3, where he's like, that can't be true, because he's really close with PlayStation. And uh, so he had like a similar thing happen whenever PSX was canceled this year because it had been the first time since they started it that they had canceled it. And it it's literally the perfect time to have a conference because everyone's already in the town for the Game Awards and this is literally the next day. So since nobody was doing anything on that day, he was like, why don't we just do something? Uh, because like whenever the, the Game Awards had their very first uh, like celebrity gamer of the year or whatever they called it like the very first award it was like pewdiepie and markiplier and game over greggy and a bunch of other people and greg was the one that like won the very first award for it which is crazy because he was going against people with like 40 and 50 million subscribers anyways that's off topic i'm just fanboying a bit but uh he was kind of known as like the number one most famous games journalist uh, when he was working at IGN and then he started his own thing kind of funny made a bunch of friends in the games and he was like I can just do my own thing and everyone 
Like, they all already basically tell him all the secret games they're working on because they keep it a secret. And he was like, why don't I just do my own conference to where people will come to us to reveal the games? And that's what they're doing. And they have over 50 games that they're going to be showing off, a lot of which are going to be brand new announcements as well. And there are third parties and first parties all showing off stuff. Like even Sega announced they were going to be showing off a brand new game for the first time. Um, even though they're third party, they're still, you know, they used to be first party. So... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have a list of uh, rumored announcements for this, I guess. Uh, Daniel, or one of the other guys, Ilya Chubes, would one of you guys like to run down some of these rumored games at the, the bottom of the list? Which part of the list? It's at the, the very bottom, where it's it says cool. announcements. It's at the bottom. Oh, yeah. yeah. I and can then do it, that. it has the Do confirmed games and then the rumored games. But really, the Avengers yeah. thing shouldn't be rumored because the guys, uh, the Russo, is it the Russo brothers? Yeah. That are it like says the, the Russo Yeah, the, the people who are literally making Avengers 3 and 4 are showing up to this to announce <laughs> something. <laughs> so obviously, like, it's. A, yeah, it's confirmed, but they have it in the rumors because mm -hmm. it's not technically confirmed. Anyways, yeah, go on, Nelia. Sorry. Okay, so on wrestlingforum.com, <laughs> the bottom. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but it says announcements: games that will feature uh, Obsidian's new RPG, their last before micro the Microsoft purchase, and then it says Anthem. In addition to that, it says there will be more than 10 brand new games announced, but at least one is some mobile game, and apparently nobody cares. That's what it says right now. Um, and then for rumored games, it has The Avengers Project, which you mentioned. Mortal Kombat 6. No, 11, excuse me. Can't read Roman numerals. Sorry. Um, <laughs> that's Roman numerals for 11. Um, Borderlands 3. Alien Blackout. Dragon Age 4. For Metroid Prime 4 plus Metroid Prime Trilogy HD. Um, Death Stranding because Keeley plus Keely Kojima. and Kojima. They're, they're best Kojima. friends. Jeff Keeley, okay. the host, and mm -hmm. Kojima. Like, um, after Kojima got fired or let go or whatever from Konami, um, Keely like had to give Kojima like an honorary award or something like that because Konami uh -huh. refused to let Kojima accept the award for Metal Gear um, 5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they were like, the if, if you accept the award, we will have our lawyers there. So they had like a 10 minute thing where Kojima wasn't on camera, but Keely, because he's like best friends with him, were basically shaming uh, Konami, and then everyone in the audience was like, F you, Konami, at the Game Awards, oh while everyone gosh. was watching. So, yeah. Anyways, are... continue. Really? Anyway, you say Konami, and I think of um, Kume and Kotake from the oh, yeah, time. yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> and then the last one is Xbox's Winter of Arcade, and that's the last one on the list. Yeah. So, you guys got excited for something on here. What? Okay, so I'm excited for an entirely different reason than Daniel would be okay. excited for. Borderlands 3. Borderlands is yep. probably one of my favorite non-Nintendo game series. Because, like, we got Borderlands 2 in 2012. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then we got pre-sequel, which was basically garbage in 2014. <laughs> so, like, it's not like I've been waiting a really long time. But I'm just wow. so excited because like i, I was feel really the pain of us out. metroid fans <laughs> <laughs> did you get the handsome jack collection uh, yeah so basically for me like anything after borderlands 2 was really not that interesting <laughs> and really not that good so i am just very very excited all right I've been no, I, I really long. enjoyed borderlands as well like the i played the first and second i did not play pre-sequel um mostly Due to word of mouth that it was yeah you know, i pre-ordered pre-sequel um, and it was just i can't get through it mm -hmm. but i definitely played 
Borderlands, like the first one, I think, like I can acknowledge that Borderlands Two is the better game, but I still think I really like the first one better, <laughs> just as a total personal bias. I played through the story of Borderlands One four times, and I only played through Borderlands Two once. So yeah, no, the story in Borderlands yeah. One is amazing. The only thing oh, yeah. that's a little bit different for me is that Borderlands Two gameplay wise is a lot more There's, polished, so it's yeah. easier to go back for the replay value, whereas playing Borderlands 1 feels so slow. Yeah, no, I, I I like it a lot better, but yeah. there's there's things I like about both. Um, the DLC in the first one is is also really fun. It is, it um, really but is. Yeah, yeah. You should play that on stream. <laughs> we'll uh, actually, co-op. I've been planning on playing it. <laughs> we'll do a co-op playthrough. Actually, that would be bomb. That would, <laughs> that would be, that would be <laughs> that would... so bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but I was totally getting excited for Metroid as well because, um, yeah, because I love me some Metroid and <laughs> it makes sense that Metroid Prime 4 would be revealed because they revealed Metroid at Game Awards stuff like like nonchalantly at non-Nintendo Direct stuff before and all we got like that title screen for Metroid Prime 4 that yeah. was like a placeholder title screen not even probably probably not even the real one because it doesn't have the subtitle and um we're still waiting <laughs> we're still waiting that was a more. long time ago <laughs> it was a long time ago yeah and there's also oh. the, the rumors for the trilogy hd on mm-hmm. there so that'd be cool mm-hmm. i i don't think i need to play through the, the prime trilogy again i played through them all like a few times quite a few times but uh, i'd still probably do it I'd still probably do it. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Those are great games. So, yeah. All right. That's that's all I got. You look like you have a uh, an excited or anxious face, tubes. Oh. You you were like doing this, like you oh, were. Oh no! I'm just. <laughs> this is just the state of my being. You're, you're plotting my, out an evil. Life is very anxious plan. right now. So. All right, Ilya. Do you are you excited for anything? Not the ones no, they listed. I no. don't really care. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> they they literally showing off like over twenty things at the Game Awards, over fifty at the the day after. So there's potentially over seventy different things that's going to be shown off and announced. And chances are, five of them are going to be Nintendo Switch things. I would say, if not at least 20 of them so you can put in your own guesses (laughs) like i would say an animal crossing trailer more i was gonna say if there's anything animal crossing i'll definitely go wild i'm sure kayla will be right there with me you have no idea so i have been trying to get like ever since the brief announcement of a new animal crossing game i stopped playing animal crossing pocket camp because now all i can think about is new animal crossing i'm not interested in anything else other than that so here's it's funny i had the opposite reaction i started playing it again and have been like <laughs> like i need to get used to this mechanic i bet some of this will appear in the new one oh <laughs> so here's an idea what if like in like the nintendo world they could make up the reason that Animal Crossing is taking so long to release because they are on their adventure to, you know, the Smash Bros thing and Animal Crossing can't release until they make their way back. I just want Animal Crossing. (laughs) (laughs) It's sort of similar to uh, Sakurai said that he wanted to make uh, Smash Brothers on Wii U and 3DS. Uh, there was an interview where he's like, I really want to make Smash Brothers on Wii U and 3DS because it would be the first HD Smash Brothers. There's a lot of ideas that I have, but Nintendo's not letting me do it until I make Kid Icarus on the 3DS. So we're going to start making that, they and then I can work out. on Smash Brothers. Yeah, but of course that's right after he releases Brawl, and he's like, I don't want to work on Smash Brothers anymore. But then like a few months later, he's like, I really want to work on Smash Brothers. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Well, um, I guess as far as games that I would love to hear more about, because obviously this list of announcements is not a cumulative list. And I mean, a lot of them are guesses or speculation. Um, but if I had my way, my heart, you know, um, something Animal Crossing related, something Zelda related, if not more than one thing Zelda related, 
obviously. All things, 70, all 70 things are Zelda related. <laughs> oh gosh. I, I would be too overwhelmed. I would be like, I'm not sure if this is good or bad because I'm overwhelmed. But yeah. Zelda. Too much money. Um, there aren't a ton of franchises that I'm heavily into. So I guess anything Mario, I'd be like, oh, cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Those those are my main two things are, I think, unless I'm forgetting something, Animal Crossing and um, Zelda. So that's all I can think of. <laughs> all right, Daniel. I really want to know more about this Avengers product project. Really? Oh, it's um. I so I, I'm really curious about this. A couple of years ago, um, mm-hmm. the history of it, along with Spider Man and all of the other Marvel games, um, they were. Disney had a lot of deals in place with a lot of game companies, and they were all Art. making mediocre games. Like, they were just putting out, like, a Spider-Man game every year just so they could make money from... because people are going to buy Spider-Man. And Disney and Marvel got tired of all of these mediocre games. They're like, we're making mm-hmm. really good movies, why aren't we making really good video games? So they decided to partner with only really good companies who would take their game serious and instead of putting out a mediocre thing every year they would work on the games as if they were working on a first party huge triple a game so uh the first game to come out of that was insomniac working on spider-man ps4 and although it was a third party turned out pretty good (laughs) yeah and although it was you know a third party insomniac game they like playstation because they wanted the deal with uh disney and marvel they took it really seriously and square enix is doing the same thing to where i think it was the team that worked on tomb raider is working on the avengers and they've only released a teaser to where it was like like it was the camera panning over everything and it looked like at the time it looked so realistic i was like this has to just be like a cg scene that isn't running on a console or it's for like playstation 5 because it was just like panning over and you would see like a really beaten up uh captain america shield with like all of the other weapons like Thor's hammer that's like all cracked and stuff and it was just the announcement that Square Enix was working on it and they are the ones I think it was the team that made the Tomb Raider games so um the Tomb Raider games have always been since they remade them they've always been realistic as well so they're just making like a really realistic high quality Avengers game um I'm hoping, fingers crossed, similar to the movies, that all of the uh, the Marvel games are also going to cross over. Because it would be really cool after playing Spider-Man if that same Spider-Man appeared in this Avengers game. So that would, that would be really cool. But yeah, I, I, yeah, that would be awesome. That's just like that fan be. wishing, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's what they're doing. They're just making like a really high-quality, polished, AAA avengers game Mm -hmm. instead of just like hey we have the hulk let's spend a hundred dollars to make a hulk game uh but yeah they're they're making like really really serious games so that's really cool um but that's all that i know about it um yeah so well that sounds cool i'm a game i I don't have spider-man my brother owns it though um but you know my idea but you played it at e3 and then like forty thousand people I literally I named a, a video people just Daniel playing Spider Man, and like <laughs> so many people, thousands of people were just like, "Hi!" I think so many people were like, "Hi, you suck at this game," and I'm like, <laughs> "It's a game on a console I don't know, and the game is not out yet, and I'm like learning how to play it for the first time." And they're like, "Please just like Spider Man Two on the GameCube." And I'm like, okay, yeah, I played Spider-Man 2 on the GameCube, like, a decade ago. Yes, <laughs> and seriously. And also, it doesn't play that much like it. it. It's actually way more polished, so. Um, anyways, yeah. It, yeah. It, and then uh, my, my, silly. <laughs> my demo version wasn't so polished because it crashed oh, on me. Oh. 
<laughs> oh yeah, there was that. So, uh, but, uh, yeah. but it, I, mean, I had a lot of fun playing it, and it is a really very well polished game. Like a real, it feels very good to play. Like you know how this is something that mm, someone has cited. Like something that's good about Mario games, why they're so fun to play, is because it's fun to just move around as Mario. And that yeah. can be the same. Same can be said for Spider Man and, and PS4. It's like feels good to just to web sling to run and jump and all these like they feel very fluid and very good yeah. um yes that's why i always nitpick games on people's walking animations if i can't walk and feel comfortable doing it in a game it's like deal breaker I'm done <laughs> so... yeah all right do you have any other mm. games that like you're just looking forward to that might be announced yeah. uh metroid 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 <laughs> It's <laughs> and um, they might announce like what some of the DLC stuff for Smash Four is as well. I could see that, but I don't know. That that seems like a bit of a stretch. Oh, but... there, there was a piece of news where uh, Sakurai said that everyone will want to buy the DLC characters. Everyone will be very very excited about them. So basically, him just hyping it up as anyone would hype up their stuff but he he seemed really right. really into it like he's like these are you 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 will want to play with these characters oh, that's, that's encouraging yeah but i mean miyamoto is sometimes like what his idea of what what's going to be like great um it's can be hit, hit or miss sometimes he's a genius man but sometimes that doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean that he translates to what like the general population of gamers are like right yeah so <laughs> we all know those DLC characters. People are gonna be upset for no apparent reason. Yeah, it's true. It's Although true. I I really love Sakurai's comment where he was like, "Please only buy it if you feel confident in it." You know, and yeah. like not instead of just being like, "Give us money, give us money." Like it seems like a very humble attitude, and I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a thing. Don't get angry about it, people, because he said outright, "Only buy it if you like it and you're confident in it." Yeah. Um, so you have no reason to be mad. That's all. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Uh, Choops. What? Me. Yeah. Hi, you person in the bottom left. Hi. Um. Yeah, no, like, the only games that are really on my radar, radar right now would be, like, another Zelda game. Animal Crossing, of course. And I've been wanting to hear more about anything Borderlands related for a very long time, so I hope that is more than just a rumor. Did you even, like, know of the rumor of that game being in development? So, I know that the people that are the company that did Borderlands, uh, they had another project that they had to finish before they could start working on Borderlands 3. So I know that Borderlands 3 is going to happen, I just don't know when. Any other games? No. No? That's it. All right. Um, what? Why is your house slanted? So, <laughs> <laughs> so my okay. Webcam. Okay, stick. I'm pretty sure your webcam's level in your house is slanted. <laughs> stick with me, guys. What if? Okay, because they said there was going to be a phone game that no one cared about, right? Nintendo. Didn't they say it was going to be Mario Kart and everyone will care about no, it? So, so here's the thing. <laughs> They, they, like this. they said I don't that, want that. Uh, I don't either. I'll, I'll try it, though. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah. so Nintendo did say they're working on Mario Kart World Tour, I think. And, like, that's going to be their next big mobile phone game. So it could be released there, because I don't think it would be something they would want to save for their own Nintendo Direct. It seems like something small enough to where they could just announce it almost anywhere. Like, it could just pop up on TV in a commercial one day, and I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, but, anyway, stay with me. What if, instead of Animal Crossing Switch, we get Pocket Camp 2? No. No. No? No? No, no Pocket no. Camp 2? No. It doesn't need a new no. one. They update it, like, every <laughs> week. I they swear, every time I get so on, I have to update it. Updates for that game. I logged in today and it was like, you have a cabin you customize now on top of yep. being a campground owner. That, that, and I was that's like, a recent thing. So here, here's a cool it's thing. It's cool, but we need a new one. 
on the Switch. <laughs> I logged in to Pocket Camp on my phone for the very first time like a month ago or two months ago. And it already had a, like a weird username for me that was not my name. And it was like some random girl's name. And either it gives you a generic name when you first start or some random person managed to get my email. Weird. Because mine's yeah, Chububa. Yeah. Mine's Ilya Delete Rose. Delete your save data. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we can go... We can go on to the the, the mailbag. Side side note though, yeah. um, but what's Isaac in the chat says Elder Scrolls Six is on his radar. Oh yeah, I that's a that. very good point. We didn't even talk about it. Mm -hmm. They've shown us like a panning scenery shot at E three of Elder Scrolls Six. I think that's the only thing we've seen of it. Yeah, but they they if said they, they were. What they say? <laughs> they said they were. Um... No, okay. So like they, there was a new game <laughs> that they announced that they said Starfield. Yeah. Okay. So they announced Starfield. And they said we have other stuff that we're going to show, but both of these things are really far away. And they sure. hinted towards like Starfield being a next gen game. Like it's not going to come out until like PlayStation Five and everything comes out. And then after Starfield releases then they're going to be working on Elder Scrolls 6. I, I feel like they'll probably still have a team yeah. working on it, um, yeah. even through, like, probably doing co-production, like, bo doing both at once. But even, like, like it doesn't need to show us much. Just a tease to keep it on everyone's mind, you know? Yeah. Because, like, even now we've seen nothing and I forgot about it. And no, so. that's really funny, actually. So I was playing uh, God of War yesterday, and like I don't know where it just like popped mm -hmm. up in my head. I was like, "Oh, I can't wait for another Elder Scrolls." Yeah, <laughs> and then the, yeah, yeah. The, the next Fallout game's probably like ten years away, because hopefully they do it right. They would be making like the Starfield game, which is like right. two, three years away, and then Elder Scrolls would be like a year or two after that. And then after Elder Scrolls releases, then they would come back around to like Fallout Five. So mm -hmm. that's like one game's like three years away, the other one's five, and then Fallout would be like the seven. Or eight. They've done at least seventy six Fallout games now. Yeah, which it is responsible it be because Bethesda gave us all those masks. We were able to make the best E three video <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it's watching me now yes it's always with us <laughs> it is like it's it's every week it's right behind me there <laughs> also if you guys are wondering why i'm still eating i bought, uh cheddar popcorn from daniel's child and that's what it's i'm true. doing right now it's true what? he had a fundraiser i love it oh no it's so disturbing it's terrifying but great. i put mine on but i left mine at cameron's place when i got back from e3 and i never no. picked it up again It's just disturbing. Just, just, just saying. <laughs> they should put this. Someone should just make a mod for the happy mask salesman to where he just has this mask. Yeah, just Actually, like among all the other ones on his backpack, just that one hanging out with them. Yeah. So during the mm -hmm, Halloween mm -hmm. season, I actually stopped at Spirit Halloween. And I saw one of those Fallout masks and it was like $15 or something. I was like, oh, Whoa. this. I got that for free. Yeah, they just—they were, they were just like them handing out. them out, a dime yeah. a dozen. That's a great. We didn't rehearse that, by the way. <laughs> that was just improv. That was great. Woohoo! Yeah. All right. So, uh... mailbag. 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 Yeah, yeah we, we can have mailbag. a short one today. Mailbag. Right? Mailbag. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, cool. one eighteen. Cool, 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 cool. Would work. I want to shower and get my life together, because, um... What's a shower? <laughs> this week, Daniel, I started on the phones all week. Uh, Yay! Terror. I'm, I've been anxious about it all week. Terror? Great. All right. Oh, phone calls terrify me. So here's what you do, everyone. You click the link that I posted in the chat to join the Discord, and then you post your questions in the Zelda mailbag. But... Yeah. We have a special question for this week's first 
question of the mailbag, which is actually a good question. It's good for like a discussion thing. I have to bring it up on my phone. It's kind of a long one as well. All right. So how oh, that is long. Okay, here it is. All right. Everyone ready? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do one of you guys want to do the intro for it, or every time no. I do it, you guys ruin it. We oh what? <laughs> wow. What do you mean we ruin it? Rude. You guys distract. I'm not the one with the slanted I'm house. So I fixed my house. Okay. <laughs> she just left her webcam the same and tilted her house to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> her she has a um what is it a geo dude that used earthquake to like oh fix man the earthquake house. is a terrible move geo dude yeah oh my gosh i don't know how it how it works because um i had a charizard and it he's flying in the air and then the, the opponent used earthquake this is a real thing that happened i was playing pokemon the opponent oh used gosh. earthquake he's like literally not even on the ground he's flying and he takes damage i'm like how did that hurt him the ground shook he's flying in the air <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> in uh like some of the pokemon uh, games like pokemon stadium i remember if you did that to a flying pokemon it would be like this attack was ineffective or like you missed uh, yeah, no, it supposedly has no effect on flying type, but I think because Charizard is technically <laughs> fire type and not flying type, even though he's freaking flying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I might be wrong. Pokemon fans are going to roast me, but. Oh my All gosh. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll do the, the, the mailbag. Right. You got it. <laughs> yeah, you hey everyone, it's me again, Elia Rose. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And you know what? If you're a fan of videos like this, you should totally subscribe and give this video a like and comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can receive many rewards, such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse, and much, much more.